What does the inner city and the CBD have to do with an off-road warrior like the Land Rover Defender? Absolutely nothing. But that doesn't stop people from buying them and they're never ever heading off-road in them. The Land Rover Defender is a modern icon, it's a legend and its roots trace back to its original release in the late 1940s. But it's absolutely awful on-road and that's why we're here. For nearly a quarter of a century, the name has been a byword. The world's most versatile vehicle. Rugged, made for hard work. This is Land Rover. Engineered to withstand the toughest stress and strain. This is the vehicle that takes you where other wheeled vehicles dare not go. Think of the toughest off-road journey you can imagine anywhere in the world and chances are the Defender has tackled it. Defender has a hard-won reputation for being able to cope with the harshest off-road terrain. But is that still the case in 2015? Now you might think I'm being a little bit harsh saying that the Defender's awful on-road, but let's run through a few of the reasons that it is. And believe me, there are plenty. Now first of all, the seating position. Absolutely horrendous. I can't get any further away from the dashboard than this. My knees are hitting the plastic. I'm only just far enough away from the steering wheel. Not perfect at all. Now, you're gonna need a raincoat if you own a Defender. Why? Well, because you can't actually drive with the window up. Because you can't get your arm to a point where it works with the steering wheel. Window needs to be down. But Land Rover hasn't overlooked that fact and they've actually given you heated seats so you can drive with the window down even in winter. These, do you remember these? Removable faceplate CD players? They were modern in 1993, but you still get one with your Land Rover Defender. It's absolutely amazing how this has such a close link to the past while still being available currently. And perhaps the most fun part about this particular Defender, it's got optional third row seating back there, so you can torture extra people if you want to stick them right in the back. So we've pointed the Defender now at our favourite off-road track and absolutely everything that doesn't make any sense on-road all of a sudden makes perfect sense once you get off-road. You've got super deep low range gearing, you've got incredible traction usually, you've got a centre diff lock that you can use in low or high range and the slow steering, the gentle throttle, the heavy clutch, it all makes incredible sense off-road because you actually need really subtle inputs in the rough stuff to make sure that you don't lose momentum or end up somewhere that you shouldn't. While the Defender's not great on road, it's absolutely unbelievable when the going gets tough. And of course what goes up has to go back down as well and once again, as you can see, I'm going to let off the clutch, I'm not going to let go of the steering wheel, let off the clutch, that's no accelerator, no brake, that's how low, low range is in the Defender. This is a very steep hill and we're just absolutely crawling down here and what that means is we're not losing any momentum, we're not losing drive and we're not losing grip so that we're not scrabbling around trying to find the best way to the bottom of the hill. It's just mind blowing how easy the Defender makes this stuff look. So we're coming up to a mud bath now and the Defender's biggest asset here is twofold. A relatively narrow track and extremely good ground clearance. Now, this looks like it's particularly difficult, but it isn't. Because of the drive and the centre diff lock, the Defender just ploughs in one end and out the other end like it wasn't even there. And, as an added benefit, if you can believe it, the seven seat Defender that we've got here has got a 1,012 kilogram payload. Now the Land Rover Defender, it's a vehicle from another era and its days are numbered, we know that. It simply can't exist in a modern market where buyers expect comfort and safety in equal measure. We can criticise its shortfalls, but we should rejoice in the fact that the Defender exists while it still does. It's one of the modern greats, it's an all-time classic, it's one of the best off-road vehicles that's ever been designed. And if you live in the city and you own a Land Rover Defender, that's what it should look like.